या हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल द क्लाउड बॉक्स एंड दिस इज द नेक्स्ट वीडियो इन साइड द एजो डेटा फैक्ट्री इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वट इज द लुक ऑफ एक्टिविटी इन द डेटा फैक्ट्री सो माई नेम इज अनूप एंड माई चैनल नेम इज द क्लाउड बॉक्स एंड इन दिस चैनल आई मोस्टली अपलोड वीडियो रिलेटेड टू द डेटा इंजीनियरिंग एज यो डेटा इंजीनियरिंग फाइव पार्क स्पार्क सीक्वल डेटा ब्रिक्स डेटा फ्लोज डेटा फैक्ट्री ए डी एल एस एच ओ डेमो सो इफ यू आर रियली इंटरेस्टेड टू लर्न डेटा इंजीनियरिंग प्लीज टू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल ओके सो लेट्स कम टू द वीडियो लेट्स कम टू द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट लर्न साइट वे आर वी कैन सी द ऑफिशियल डॉक्यूमेंटेशन ऑफ लुकअप एक्टिविटी so you, you can go with these lines and read you will have understanding but i can explain what i have understood lookup activity is basically reads the a smaller piece of data or information from a huge data set okay suppose you have a 10 millions of record and if you want to read a small information like 100 records 10 records at the run time instead of hard coding those value to some location and then you are reading so at the execution of pipeline only it can run the smaller piece of value and do the next processes based on the output of a lookup mostly people may got confused what is the git metadata what is the lookup where to use git metadata where to use lookup so i have already explained in my last video what is the git metadata activity so git metadata activity you can go and search from here and you have idea git metadata activity deals with the metadata of a data like file size okay when the last when the last modified date of that particular file what are the files folder present in a main folder that is the child items and so on but instead of the git metadata we use lookup while where we have a scenario to read something like suppose we have a table and we want to only work on those record which color is black and probably there's we want to read on the run time so instead of get metadata we'll use a lookup whereas there is one condition file size is exist then only we need to copy we need to calculate the file size then in in this case we are going to use get metadata i've already covered but in this video i just given you a overview like you can relate the things okay so let's go to our pipeline work area and uh, go to the pipeline go to this folder let's go and create a pipeline something and give it a name pl underscore lookup example okay you can search lookup activity from here and if you're more interested to explore just go one by one in the general you will find lookup okay let's go and uh, name this lookup so i'll give you an i will give a name like lookup example this is the mandatory you need to give the name in the setting what i have told you it is going to support all the data set which are supported by the data factory so there could be data set sql db D, csv type excel avro xml json maybe uh, oracle db maybe uh, microsoft dynamics 365 maybe web api data maybe uh, gcp data any other data so okay all the data set which are supported by the data factory it is going to support by the lookup so quickly go and select for one csv data okay just open this csv to see actually for which location it is and which file it is going to point out okay so it is pointing to something called order.csv in a landing folder okay we'll go and our storage account in the landing we can see whether file is present or not it is present good okay so what i am trying to get from this okay let's go and let's go and debug this let's go and debug this actually it got succeeded and we go to output we can see something like uh, this prop 0 prop 1 3 4 5 6 7 it coming it's giving first row 
okay something uh, messy right it's giving column name in a value so what we can do you can quickly go to data set this open this and mark this first row as a header let's come back debug this again and we can see only it only so one record okay now it came in proper way first row for the first thing it is giving you all the column name and correspondingly it is giving you value that is it's giving value for the f one row okay and then rest it is giving the integration runtime and all why this because we have marked this first row only by default it is checked yes you need to disable it now go and debug this again go and run this now you can see this all the data are coming in a proper way not all the records it can give but probably it is giving you more than one record so it is also giving you a count it was not the case when we have marked the first row yes option count is 100 it means total record count is 100 and in the value it is giving all the records in an array list format okay here is the first value first row second row this is basically a json data if you go to this you scroll down the output can be singleton value or in an array of attribute okay cool now we have successfully read the data but someone is coming and saying okay we have read the data then what is use of that i have already told it can be used it is always a a better practice to you lose lookup before any activity and with conjunction of different activities so i want to do a scenario like okay i only want to i only want to copy those records if file size is uh, sorry if file uh, row count is greater than zero why this because why do i want to waste the time of the anyone like I do not want to run a pipeline if file size is empty. So I want to do a proper validation, then I am going to execute the file. Okay. So I'll take a if condition. Always, if you want to do a conditional statement, go for if, go to activity, go to this property, it will be a mandatory one. So just go and choose add dynamic content. Okay. Before that, I need to attach this. If you the moment you attach, you can see the output of all the possible output from lookup is enabled here. So what I'm going to s do, I'm just going to well uh, cross check on the count. So what I'm do, simply uh, select the lookup example count or simply here also you can do a count. Fine. It is also going to work. So what I'm going to do, count. That is fine. And all this I want to do with something called greater there is a logical function if you come here you can see this logical function greater okay okay fine so I want to check whether count is greater than zero then only you copy otherwise not this is the statement and if returns true then it is going to go in a true section so in that i just want to copy data okay in the copy activity let's make uh, the same data set which i have used input in the sync data set let's i have already created output it is going to copy the uh, input data from input data to output data set and it is going to point a base location prep okay let's go and see whether prep is present or not it is present and that file is already there i guess let's remove this file okay let's remove this file let's come to data factory go back because source if you open the source data set it is a csv type but in the sync by default in the copy activity it will be dot txt so you just 
dos.csv okay our true condition got satisfied what about false false is optional you can keep it blank but give a general message like uh, someone can read what happened or else you want to do something else so that also you can do at this point i can store a log here uh, i'll choose a string value i will give a name else condition and in the value i'll give file size is not accurate okay i will come here and will run this i will run this it must copy the file because count is greater than 0 so it must execute the lookup first it has read the data and then it must copy the data then it has copied because the true the if condition got executed else condition got not executed so let's go and prep and refresh the file size must be there okay so file should be there it is there and with the today's date and time fine so we have seen how we have implemented lookup what if the for the else condition let's go and play with this size let's go and do something 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 like this we know this count is not greater than like this so let's go and run this we can see whether else condition and uh, let's remove this file let's it also got executed now in this case the set variable part got executed if you open the value else condition file size is not accurate we can see this value probably we can store in a log and store in a somewhere or you can send through email something something you can do all also you can see whether your file got copied or not it will not because it got executed with the else part so far we have covered with the csv if we go around uh, data set of sql so probably you can go and play around with you can have table option query stored procedure so you can directly run a table you can do a filter and all the sql query here and you have a stored procedure then you can select from drop down i hope uh, in this video i'm not covering the sql db because the video will be too longer but i hope uh, you have a clear understanding about what is the lookup activity what it makes uh, differ from a get metadata activity stay tuned for next video thanks for watching please do subscribe and hit the like button thank you so much